Good evening. Good evening, Renee. Good evening, Lester. Thank you for joining. Good evening, Carla. Oh, well, she's connected. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, thank you for joining, guys. Bueno, we are only four, but there were only four people, but hopefully the rest will join us later. And let me share the class with you guys. So it's kind of excited because, I mean, I, I'm kind of excited, I'm sorry, because it's your class number 12, right? It's class number 12, meaning that next week you're going to have your last week for your module intermedio uno, right? So that's something cool, right? I'm happy for you. So we're going to continue today, guys. This is going to be session 12. Session 12, right, the 16, so you're about to finish. And today is October 30th, right? So I think today was a crazy Friday because actually it was payday, but algunos era payday, right? And also people, you know, uh, driving, you know, fast. And uh, it, was, it was a crazy Friday, right? It was a crazy Friday, but thank God we're home and you are now, you know, uh, in your online session, your English class, okay? So let's start. Guys, ¿qué vamos a hacer hoy? Because we have already talked about simple past. We have already talked about um, cooking verbs. We have already talked about present perfect, right? But I wanted to have, you know, like, like, a, like to complement, right, that uh, topic of present perfect. Because we were able, we were able to work during the first week with simple past. We worked a lot. We talked a lot about simple past, and now we're moving to uh, present perfect, right? And we were able, like, to identify like the main differences, right, between simple past and present perfect. Now we were saying that both of them can be used for uh, past events, right? But the main difference is that when we use past simple, we use it to talk about completed actions in the past, right? And when we used present perfect, we use it to talk about actions that is started in the past, but they, but still they have a connection with my present. And I was giving you many examples, right? I remember one of the examples was I worked, I worked in the bank for 10 years. I worked in the bank for 10 years. If I'm using worked, right, in past, it's because that is something completed in the past. I don't work in the bank anymore. But what happens if I say, I have worked in the bank for 10 years. I had worked in the bank for 10 years. That's totally different. Why, teacher? Because I still work in the bank, right? It's an action that is started in the past and that continues to the present, right? That's something we need to take into consideration. Ahora bien, pero y entonces, teacher, what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to complete that part of present perfect, right? Because actually, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about just, yet, still, and already, okay? We use them with present perfect, right? No, some of present perfect. Just, yet, still, and already. Okay, and teacher, como vamos a hacer eso? Well, we're going to see the use of each of those, right? And then at the end, I would like you to put them into practice, right? And we're going to have an activity. We're going to have an activity, okay? So let's start. And please, um, This is okay, but there is something extra that shouldn't be here. Here. Okay, there you go. I oh, see. So let's go ahead and get a volunteer. No, I'm going to I'm going to pick one. So let's see. Um Kenia Sevedo, are you there? Kenia? Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Yes. Hello. 
Can you help me, please? Can you go ahead and read the information on the board? Uh, I, excuse me, but I am lost with the information because in this moment, I, I, I'm connecting in this moment. Oh, oh, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Uh, Carla, please. Thank you. Carlita, are you there? Yes, teacher. Can <laughs> you help me, please? Don't worry, it's okay. Look at this example to see how just, yet, still, and already are used. I've just seen Lily. She's really enjoying his new job. We haven't decided what to do yet. I still haven't told Mom to see how she is. I've already had lunch, but I'll join you for coffee. Thank you very much, Carlita. Thank you. Yes. So take a look at the examples, okay? This is how, this is the way we used um, yet, still, I mean, just, yet, still, and already. Take a look at the first sentence. It says, I've just seen Lily. I've just seen her. I've just seen Lily. She's really enjoying his new job, right? Cuando yo digo, la acabo de ver, acabo de ver a Lily, right? I've just seen Lily, right? She's, she's, she's really enjoying his new job. Take a look at the second sentence, right? We haven't decided what to do yet. We haven't decided what to do yet. No hemos decidido aún lo que vamos a hacer, yet, right? And take a look at the next one. I still haven't called my mom to see how she is. I still haven't called my mom to know how she is. Now, this one is the same. Right? I've already had lunch. I've already had lunch. But I'll join you, but I'll join you for coffee. Okay? So it's something that I have that I just did, right? I said I already have. Acabo de, decimos en español, ah, yo acabo de comer, right? So, take a look at the examples, and now we're going to see one by one. Lo vamos a ver uno por uno, right? It says, we often use, well, if you want, I'm going to start sharing with you some of the, um, uh, pero lo que voy a hacer es que les voy a guardar los screenshots esta vez, because when I open WhatsApp web to share the screenshots with you guys, por Dios, the computer gets very, 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 very slow. So let me go ahead and share them. I'm going to, um, se lo voy a ir guardando, but wait, I'm going to leave them here. I can't remember my guardando. Wait. Okay. Ahí está. Very good. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, we often use just yet, still, and already with the present perfect, right? Because they are related to the present moment, okay? That's why we use them, because they are related to the present moment, right? Están relacionados con lo que acaba de suceder hoy mi presente, right? And let me get this screenshot too, and I'm going to paste it here. Así hay un solo, cuando terminemos, yo se los mando. Okay, very good. So, uh, now, what happens then? Let's talk about the, the first one, okay? Just, okay? Just. What comes to your mind? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente cuando se escuchan just, right? I've just seen Susan, okay? In Spanish, ¿cómo diríamos eso? I've just. Acabo de, right? Acabo de. I've just seen Susan, right? We use, we use just with the present perfect, I mean, Used with the present perfect means a short time before, okay? A short time before. I've just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. Dígame, Carla. But when you use uh, just, uh, the meaning is not the same when you use the already. Yes, but if you see, um, I mean, already es ya, acabo de. I have already eaten, right? I have already eaten. Pero tienen diferentes significados. El primero que estamos viendo es a short time before. Aquí es donde just 
eh, use with the present perfect, usado con el presente, presente perfecto, significa a short time before. Hace un momentito, right? A short time before, and I'm going to get this, okay? Lo voy a apuntar, para que lo vayamos viendo luego uno por uno, okay? A short time before. Y luego vamos a ver qué significa already, okay? We're going to see what already means. Okay. Very good. Now, I've just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. Mike just called, or Mike has just called, right? Can you ring him back, please? Have you just taken my pen? Just comes be between the auxiliary verb, have or has, and the past participle. Esa es la posición que lleva, right? You see? Between the auxiliary verb, right? In this case, have, and the past participle. Always, 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 right? Now, what happens, what happens with yet, okay? Yet, used with the present perfect means at any time up to now. We use it to emphasize that we expect something to happen soon. Wait a minute. Ahí está. Había un error. We use it to emphasize that we expect something to happen soon. Yet, in this context, it's only used in negative sentences and questions. Okay? ¿Cuándo se utiliza yet? Only for negative sentences and for questions. Examples. Have you finished your homework yet? Ya terminaste la tarea, right? I haven't finished it yet. Todavía no. Right? I'll do it after dinner. For Sam, he hasn't arrived yet. Todavía no ha llegado, right? Right? So that is the meaning that we have in Spanish, right? ¿Y qué significa en inglés? At any type up to now. Hasta el momento. O sea, todavía. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. I don't know, but for some reason, all of a sudden, I lost the connection. I'm sorry. I mean, I just couldn't hear you. I just couldn't see you. Are you there? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yes, teacher, we are here. Uh -huh. Okay, but I don't know what happens actually. Okay, let me do something. Let me go ahead and close everything, everything, everything that I am not using. Okay, I'm going to close this one too. Tenía la plataforma abierta, no sé si eso habrá afectado, pero lo vamos a cerrar también. And then the presentations. Well, the one that I had before. And this one. Oh, wait. Yep. Well, I have closed as many things as I could, so hopefully that will help. Okay. So I was saying, yet. Yet, I use it only with um, questions, right? With, in negative sentences, right? That's the way I use yet. But first, I would like to. Oh my goodness. Okay, first I would like to, to have a, an overview. Vamos a ver un overview de todos, and then we're going to continue, right, with, with, with some examples. Okay, so have you finished your homework yet? I haven't finished yet. I'll do it later. I'll do it after dinner, right? Or Sam, he hasn't arrived yet, right? Now, what happens when I use still? Porque si ustedes se fijan, casi todas las palabras significan lo mismo, pero se usan, número uno, unas con afirmativas, otras con negativas, unas solo con negativas y otras con, solo con preguntas, otras con preguntas y con oraciones negativas, etc. Right? Now, what happens with still? Still means, means two things, right? Still, como adjetivo, es quieto, ¿verdad? Be still, estate quieto, right? Be still, right? Or still. Todavía, right? Still, used with the present perfect means that something hasn't happened. 
¿ok? Cuando yo uso still with present perfect es porque algo no ha sucedido. Algo que tiene que suceder no ha sucedido, ¿ok? We use it to emphasize that we expected the thing to happen earlier, right? Still, in the context, is used only in negative sentences, okay? Teacher, can you give me an example? Yes. Let's say that you are in a concert, right? You are in a concert and you just got on time. And that's, you know, the typical thing, right? In a concert. The concert begins or starts at 6 p.m. in the in the evening, right? Y son las 7 y que sucede? No comienza aún. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿qué pasó? Hey, what happened? Right? Ah, oh. guess what? Right? The concert, right? The concert hasn't, uh, I mean, the concert hasn't started yet. Eso lo veríamos con el anterior, right? No ha comenzado aún, right? Now let's go ahead and use it. It says, I have been waiting for an hour, but the bus still hasn't come. En este caso, I have been waiting for an hour and the concert still hasn't started. Right? I have been waiting for an hour and the concert hasn't still started, right? Or the, I'm sorry, the, the concert still hasn't started, right? But anyways, you can use it at the beginning or you can use it at the end, right? Or in between. They promised me that report yesterday, but they still haven't finished it, okay? She, she still hasn't replied to my email. Maybe, maybe she's on a holiday. Bueno, no, miren. Still comes between the subject, in este caso, the boss, they, etc., and the auxiliary verb, haven't or hasn't, right? So take a look at here. Still hasn't. They still haven't, right? And she still hasn't, right? Entonces siempre dice acá, ben, yo me equivoqué al decir lo que estaba diciendo anteriormente, que puede, tiene que ir siempre entre el subject y el auxiliary, right? Subject and auxiliary. Let me get this part. Wait, guys. Let me get the screenshot. Okay, y vamos al último. What's the last one? The last one is already. Okay, the last one is already. Creo que es el que me había mencionado Carlita. Okay, already. Already used with the present perfect means before now, right? We used it to emphasize, emphasize, emphasize goes with Z, va con Z. We use it to emphasize that something happened before something else or earlier than expected, right? Cuando algo sucedió antes, ¿verdad? Antes de lo que yo esperaba, okay? O antes de lo que se esperaba, right? I've already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday, right? Ya me gasté, teacher, todo mi salario y apenas faltan dos semanas otra vez para que me vuelvan a pagar, right? He wanted to see sudden risk, but I've already seen it, right? O sea, sucedió antes, ya la vi, right? Too late, okay? The train hasn't left already, right? Ya tendría que haber partido, pero no lo ha hecho, right? So already comes, already can come between the auxiliary and the main verb or at the end of the clause, right? So it can come between the auxiliary and the main verb or at the end of the clause, right? So any of that can happen. Let me see, si tengo el anterior, yes, already. Give me one moment and let me take this one. Ahora vamos a ver. The, um, the use, right? So let's go back. Let's see. So we got just. ¿Qué significa just in present perfect? A short time before. Acabo de, right? Examples, I've just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. 
Mike has just called. Acaba de llamar. Have you just taken my pen? Que no acabas de tomar mi lapicero, right? So that's the equivalent that we would give in Spanish, right? Short time before. Acabo de, acaba de hacer tal cosa, right? Just comes between the auxiliary verb, he, he have or has, I'm sorry, and the past participle, right? I've just seen Susan. Okay, teacher, I've just had dinner. I've just had dinner, teacher, and then I came here to the class, right? Acabo de comer, right? I just had dinner. Yet, yet is used with the present perfect. When used with the present perfect means at any time up to now. Todavía, right? We use it to emphasize that we expect something to happen soon. Okay, lo usamos para enfatizar que hay algo que yo estoy esperando que suceda pronto, right? Examples, have you finished your homework yet? Porque ya hace rato que tenía que haberla terminado, right? So have you finished your homework yet? Oh, yes I have or no, I haven't. I haven't finished it yet. I'll do it later. I'll do it after dinner. Where's Sam? He hasn't arrived yet. Pero que quiere decir que tendría que haber venido ya hace rato y aún no ha venido, right? So he hasn't arrived yet. Okay, and then we have still. Still used with the present perfect means that something hasn't happened. Algo no ha sucedido, right? We use it to emphasize that we expected the thing to happen earlier. Okay, yo necesitaba eso ya hace un montón, ¿verdad? Al menos eso es lo que yo esperaba, esa era mi expectativa, pero aún no sucede. Entonces, still in this context is, you, is only used in negative sentences. Ok, eso sí solo lo uso con negativos, ¿verdad? No es como yet, que lo puedo usar con negativos y preguntas, right? I've been waiting for an hour and the bus still hasn't come. Ok, todavía no viene y estaba programado para salir hace una hora and still hasn't come. They promised me that report yesterday, but they, will, but they still haven't finished it yet. Imagine the report needed to be done yesterday, era para ayer, right? And they still haven't finished. Y aún no lo terminan, right? O aún no lo han terminado. She still hasn't replied to my email. Maybe she's on a holiday. Me tenía que haber contestado hace dos días and she still hasn't replied. Aún no ha contestado, right? So still comes between the subject, the boss, they, etc., and the auxiliary verb, right? And the last one already means with the present perfect before now. Right? O sea, antes, hace un momento, right? Before now, antes de este instante. We use it to emphasize that something happened before something else, right? I've already spent my salary. What does that mean? Ya me lo gasté, teacher, okay? I've already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday, right? He wanted to see sudden risk, but I've already seen it. Ya la vi, okay? So before now, I've already seen it. Before now, I've already spent my salary, teacher. Before now, the, trend, the train just left, right? So, now that we have seen them all together, what I want you to do is the following. Well, I'm going to leave this one to the end, okay? I want you to go to the chat. Please go to the chat. Oh, wait, que tengo como seven messages. Oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Yo creo que eso fue lo que sucedió. Por eso fue que hubo, porque mi pantalla se puso negra y de repente ya no pude ver, ya no los pude ver a ustedes. Creo que cuando sucedió eso fue que la pantalla se salió. Okay, don't worry. Uh, let me go ahead and share with you the, uh, let me share with you the, the screenshots, okay? What I want you to do, guys, is to prepare two examples. Dos ejemplos, two examples of each of the uses that we have seen. Two examples with just, two examples with um, yet, two examples with still, and two examples with already. Pero cuando sea así, chicos, que no ven la pantalla, díganmelo, porque yo no logro ver los, los mensajes. Así no me aparecen, sino que yo tengo que ir y abrirlos porque tengo cerrada la cajita. Entonces, cuando sea así, de repente, si no ven algo, eh, díganme, ¿ok? ¿Cómo sabemos que debemos usar AI? No entiendo su pregunta, Mariana. Can I say it in Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> eh, o sea, 
me confundo un poco porque entiendo que es como... No, o sea, no entiendo si es que usamos I have, sería como la... Ah, Ajá. no, en este caso es up to you, depende de usted. Si usted quiere usar la contracción I've, usted puede usar I. Si usted quiere usar I have, puede usar I have, no importa. Okay. ¿Cuál es la más utilizada? La contracción, pero por, la, sí. por los nativos, ¿verdad? Hablantes del inglés. Ellos prefieren usar mil veces las contracciones y las contracciones son para eso, para usarlas de forma oral, ¿verdad? Ya cuando uno está en, eh, hablando con la otra persona, pues, you use contractions. Y cuando usted escribe, ¿verdad? Escribe un, algo ya más formal, una carta, un ensayo, etc. Entonces, mm -hmm. ahí usa eh, las full form, las formas completas, ¿ok? Eh, pero es, it's up to you, Mariana. No hay regla para decir, tiene que usar esto, ¿verdad? No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Así que les voy a compartir, chicos, las, 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 eh, lo que les iba tomando, los screenshots. Just give me one moment. Solo lo voy a pasar para acá. Aquí se los fui guardando. Bueno. So please start preparing your sentences. Dos ejemplos de cada uno, okay? Two examples. Y ahí les estoy mandando el uso de cada uno en el chat. Vaya chicos, ahí se los compartí todos, toditos. Did you receive them? Yes, teacher. Very good. So I'm going to close here. Voy a cerrar acá entonces para que no nos afecte en la videollamada. Ahí está. I'm going to close this too. Bye. Nice touch, chicos. So, please uh, let me know when you're ready. At least with the with the first examples, right? We're going to start with. Uh, well, let me share the proper. PowerPoint. I'm going to close the changes. Ahí está. Okay, so let's see. I think the first one is just. That. Let's start with just. Okay, and I want you to go to the chat. Go to the chat or go to and please type your examples. In the meantime, let me share with you the conjugation of the verb have, okay? Text, very good. So, eh, as Mariana was asking, teacher, how do I know when I'm going to use I've? Well, let's go ahead and see. Remember that have is a, an irregular verb, right? It's irregular verb. Okay, meaning that it can be have or it can be has. Cualquiera de los dos, right? So, let's go ahead and have. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, right? So it is up to you if you want to use I have or I've, right? 
You can use you have or you've. And teacher, excuse, yeah. excuse, excuse me. Um, can you can you explain the difference between yet and still again, please? Significan lo mismo. Remember, yet and still, right? But let me go back. Solo déjeme abrir la presentation acá. Solo o oh, me deja hacer este primero para regresar y, y luego borrar esto. Sure, sí, sí. Okay, sure. very good. So uh, I was saying, um, if it is she, I mean, if it is he has, you can go ahead and use he has or his, right? And the same with she, she has. Oops, she is, que significa lo mismo, she has, right? It has or Y ahí es donde no nos tenemos que confundir, right? Porque no es el verbo to be, sino que es it has, right? We can say we have or with, right? You have or you've, right? And they have or they, etc., right? So it's up to you the way you want to use it, right? But if you want to use the full form, si quieres usar la forma completa, mucho que mejor. Yo al menos esa uso, ¿verdad? Yo lo uso completa, no, no uso la contraction. Así que that's the way how you're going to conjugate the verb have or has in this case, right? So let me go ahead and clear the drawings. Clear my drawings. Right, very good. Okay, era, me dijo still and has. I mean, Still and yet, right? Yes. Very good. Okay, let's go to yet and still, right? So the difference between the two of them is number one, yet it's at any type up to now, hasta el momento, right? Y creo yo que la mejor oración sería, quiero ver. Yo diría la oración, we haven't decided yet, okay? For example, Si yo digo, uh, René, we have to make a decision, right? Right? Yo tengo que tomar una decisión importante, right? With, let's say, with, with my husband, right? Probably we're going to, um, we're going to buy a house, for example. Comprar una casa es, un, es una decisión difícil y bien importante, right? Entonces, my parents come, ¿verdad? Mis papás vienen y me preguntan, um, what happened, right? Are you going to buy the house or not? And yo, bueno, nosotros le decimos, we haven't decided yet, right? No lo hemos decidido aún. We haven't decided yet, okay? ¿Y qué quiere decir esto? At any time up to now. Hasta el momento, hasta este momento, no lo hemos decidido aún. Esa, esa decisión está en proceso. So I haven't decided yet. O veamos la de la tarea. Ah, bueno, la pregunta, ¿verdad? Have you decided, have you decided what to do? No, we haven't decided yet, right? It is still in process because it's a very hard decision, right? Very difficult decision. Y si viene alguien y pregunta, have you finished your homework yet? Hasta este momento, ¿verdad? Desde que la empezaste a hacer, hasta este momento, ¿ya la terminaste? Have you finished your homework yet? ¿Ya has terminado la tarea? I haven't finished it yet. O sea, hasta este momento, I haven't finished it, right? El típico de los niños, ¿verdad? Lo dejamos como por dos horas. Y la tarea era bien cortita. Llegamos y, have you finished? I mean, have you finished your homework yet? No, I haven't finished yet. ¿Y qué estuviste haciendo? Ah, I was playing. Ah, that's why, right? It is taking you longer. Ese proceso te está llevando mucho tiempo, right? Y con still, con still, it says, uh, still used with the present perfect means that something hasn't happened. Algo aún no ha sucedido. Pero en este caso, look at what it says later. We use it to emphasize it that we expected the thing to happen earlier, right? Nosotros esperábamos eso hace ratos, okay? No es como mi decisión de comprar una casa con mi esposo, ¿verdad? Que es una, es, es una decisión que está en proceso. Pero no es que yo esperaba que, eso se, que, que lo decidiéramos en una hora, no, right? We knew that it was going to take us longer. Pero ¿qué sucede con este, con Steel? We use it to emphasize that some that we expected the thing to happen earlier. 
something, algo que nosotros esperábamos o suponíamos que ya tenía que estar hecho o que ya tenía que haber estado realizado, aún no lo está. Example. Well, it, it says still in, it, it's only used in negative sentences. Y esa es otra diferencia. Yet, yo lo puedo usar con, con, con negativas y con preguntas. Pero still solo lo puedo utilizar con oraciones negativas. Ejemplos. El, el, lo que les decía, el concierto, right? Eh, I remember once my husband went to a concert. ¿Verdad? Y yo le dije, mira, llegate temprano porque imagino que va a ser súper lleno, right? It was a, it was a very... Um, uh, era, un, era un concierto bien esperado, right? Entonces... I remember I told him, just try to be there before, right? Trata de estar una, un par de horas antes, pues, por cualquier cosa. So he was there very early. It was super temprano, and the concert was supposed to start, at, I don't, don't remember if it was at six or seven. And in the end, the concert started like at nine, okay? Entonces, uh, I can say, well, I remember he told me, I have been waiting like for five hours, right? And the concert still hasn't started, right? Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Era algo que estaba programado para suceder a esa hora, pero no ha sucedido aún. Now, let's take a look at the example. I have been waiting, uh, I have been waiting for an hour and the bus still hasn't come. Aquí no es así, pero en Estados Unidos sí. Los buses tienen una hora de pasar. Usted ve una aplicación en su teléfono y ahí le va a decir, le va a, decir a qué hora ese bus va a pasar y a esa hora pasa, right? Entonces, eh, If the person says, I have been waiting for an hour and the bus hasn't still come, it's because that bus wasn't scheduled to happen an hour before, right? Ese bus estaba programado para pasar hace una hora y no ha pasado, right? They promised me that the, that report yesterday, but they, but they still haven't finished it, right? Ese reporte fue prometido para cuándo? Para ayer, right? Pero aún no me lo han entregado y la fecha límite era ayer. Right, so they still haven't finished it, right? She is, she still hasn't replied to my email. Imagine that you send an email to your boss, right? Y son emails importantes y se los tiene que mandar con una aprobación, ¿verdad? Y, y usted está así como que, what happened, right? Ese email me lo tuvieron que haber contestado hace dos días porque yo tengo a mi cliente esperando, right? Entonces, she still hasn't replied to my email. Right? Entonces son cosas que estaban programadas para suceder o que tenían ya una deadline o una expect, eh, un es, es, um, expectation, uh, expected, I'm sorry, expected time, right? Y ahí no ha sucedido, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's the main difference between the two of them. No sé si, no sé si me di a entender, René. No sé si contesté su pregunta. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Now, let me go ahead and, and see the sentences that you have shared with me, okay? Yes, Mariana, eh, that's a very good question. All the verbs, all, all the verbs are in past participle, okay? Do you remember that, eh, bueno, para todo, ¿verdad? ¿se acuerdan que cuando yo les compartí la estructura, ahí decía verb in past participle, right? Por eso es que es bien importante saber conocer esa, esa última columna, ¿verdad? De la lista de los verbos, ¿se acuerdan? Está el base form, está simple past y está past participle. Entonces, esa columna de past participle es vital para usar los perfect tenses. Para todos los tiempos perfectos, that's vital, right? That you need to memorize those verbs. Que si son irregulares, ¿verdad? Si son regulares, ya sabemos que aplicamos las mismas reglas para convertirlos a pasado aplicamos las mismas reglas para convertirlos a pasado a participio cuando son regulares. Cuando son irregulares a veces no tienen nada que ver, como por ejemplo, sí, de ver, ¿verdad? Sí, so, sin, right? It's like, or sing, sang, sung, right? So it's totally different. Uh, let's see. I've done, I've just done my homework, okay. Pero es I have con I, Carlita, I've. I've, falta la E a la par de la V. I've just done my homework. I've just played video games with my friend. I've already eaten pizza. I've already, I've already right back. Mm. Solo que esa sí no, la última no, porque sería I am, I am already back. Ya regresé. I am already back. Then I just finished my homework. I just saw the same movie yesterday. <laughs> Vaya, pero yesterday, en este caso, Mónica, no lo puedo utilizar. Porque yesterday, 
él lo uso con simple past. Entonces, yo lo que puedo decir, I just saw a move. I have, pero ahí le hace falta el have, Mónica. I have just finished my homework. Or I have just seen. Entonces, si se fija, ahí ha mezclado simple, the present, presente perfecto con simple past. ¿Ok? Entonces sería, I have just seen that movie. O sea, hace, hace un ratito la vi, hace un ratito. Pero si hablo de yesterday y utilizo el verbo saw, entonces eso ya es pasado simple, simple past. ¿Ok? Uh, let's see. I Kenia igual, ¿verdad? I just ate. Ok, para, para I'm already hungry again. Um, I've just ate, but I am hungry again, diría yo. But I am hungry again. I've just woken up. Ajá, me acabo de levantar. Helen has already left work. Uh -huh, muy bien. The airplane has already arrived. They haven't gone for a run yet. Uh -huh. I still don't know how to speak Chinese. Solo que still don't know. Sí está bien el uso porque es todavía, pero ese ya es presente simple. I've just did. My homework. Mónica, allí solamente que el verbo esté en pre, pas, pasado participio, past participle. I've just done my homework, right? I've just made a report. Mm -hmm. They still haven't started the concert. No, en este caso sería The concert still hasn't started yet. I mean, The, oh, blah, 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 estoy cruzando todo. The concert still haven't started. Perdón. The concert still haven't started. Porque en realidad el sujeto es el concierto, no de, ¿verdad? The concert still haven't, hasn't, perdón, hasn't started. The concert still hasn't started. I've just took a shower, but I'm already, but I'm already hot again. Okay. I have just bought a battery and it's already exhausted. Exhausted, creo que exhausted es como más para estar cansado, ¿verdad? Estar así como exhausto. Con la batería sí probablemente estaríamos usando un adjetivo distinto. Let me see. Let me think. Déjeme pensar con esa. Veamos lo demás. I've just drunk an energizer. I've just drunk an energizer. Ajá, porque dice a energizing, pero es an energizer. I've just gone to San Salvador City. I've just seen my older sister. I've just begun my homework. Muy bien. Um, they haven't eaten yet. We haven't heard that song yet. Muy bien. I haven't done my homework yet. Mm -hmm. She hasn't arrived yet. Very good. I've just danced, danced. Acuérdese con past participle. Ahí falta la D al final con danced. I've just danced. Pero si usted dice, I've just danced today, eso ocurrió en cualquier momento durante el día. Pero lo que estamos hablando es de algo que acaba de suceder. Entonces, I've just danced. Right? <laughs> It was just a... a a memory says, I haven't decided what to do yet. Ajá, ahí solo hace falta la D al final. Acuérdese que los verbos van en pasado participio, ¿verdad? I haven't decided what to do yet. He hasn't had his car. Mm, no, porque acuérdese que still va a ir entre el sujeto y el, el auxiliar negativo. He still hasn't had his car, right? We haven't sung our song still. No, still siempre va. We still haven't sung our song, right? Remember? Look. Look at the screen. It still comes between the subject. Uh, let me get my infrared. Look. Still comes between the subject and the auxiliary, right? The subject and the auxiliary. We have just eaten dinner, says Adam. Mm -hmm. We have just eaten dinner. I have just bought a new pair of shoes. Uh -huh. Que voy saliendo de la tienda y yo bien feliz, ¿verdad? Con la gran sonrisa. I've just bought a new pair of shoes. Acuérdense que son acciones que acaban de suceder, right? Okay, very good. Do you have questions? Preguntas, chicos, al respecto. 
I have just fed my cat. Very good. My son has just won the game. Mm -hmm. I haven't finished my English course online yet. Uh huh. Because it is still in process. My little boy hasn't slept yet. Hasn't hasn't gone to bed, diría yo. No se ha ido a dormir. Hasn't gone to bed. I still haven't. No, I still haven't. The student sent me. I still haven't. Porque ya hay dos sujetos. Está I y está students. Yo diría, the students still haven't sent their. No se dice, quiero ver. Yo diría extra homework. Cuando son para recuperación, creo que son extra. Lo diría así, look. Diría yo, students, en general, diría students. Oh, well, the students, ¿verdad? Como usted lo ha usado, the students still, still haven't, haven't sent, right? Students still haven't sent their extra homework. Their extra homework. Así lo diría yo, este Kenia Acevedo. The students still haven't sent their extra homework. Y si usted se fija, ahí está. It still comes between the subject, que son the students, and the auxiliary, que es haven't. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I understand. Very good, very good. And the student, I mean, I've already learned to swim. Aha, uh -huh, very good. I've already learned to swim, so I just did it, right? The class have already finished. The class has, Rene has, because it's it, right? It's third person singular. The class has already finished. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. You see, still already. Very good. I've just bought my new house. Yay, I've just bought my new house. He has or he's already brought me the profit. Okay. Very good, very good. Excellent. But guys, do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? Está claro? Is it clear? Is it clear? Any question? No questions? Ah, pues hagamos un examen. No, mentira. No, but let's go ahead and see if it is. Yes, okay, yes, this is very good. So I just wanted to have like a, like a, like an example, okay, on how how we can go ahead and use, you know, these expressions, right? Do you know what a bucket list is, guys? Do you know what a bucket list is? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is a bucket list? Alguien que quiera compartir? It's like. Uh... Lo decir en español, teacher. Ok, tell me. Una lista de deseos o metas a cumplir. Exactly. Thank you, Mariana. That is correct. Actually, the bucket list contain, contains, I'm sorry, like that list or I would say um, it can include wishes, but it, as, as Mariana said, it can include your goals, right? Todas esas cosas que uno quiere haber hecho, ¿verdad? Eh, o haber realizado antes de, pues ya no seguir en este mundo, right? That's a bucket list. O tampoco nos vayamos tan extremos de decir que antes de que me parta este mundo, pero por lo menos para esta fecha, para cuando yo tenga tantos años, ¿verdad? Yo quisiera haber alcanzado esto, right? So, I, it says, let's write down our bucket list. It could be just, you know, three or four things, unas cuantas cosillas ahí, and I'm going to give you my example. Now, guys, of course, this is just an example. I just type, ¿verdad? Pero por supuesto hay cosas más importantes y otras cosas triviales, ¿verdad? De, la, de las que pude haber agregado acá. So it says become fluent in a, in a new language. Learn, oops, aquí me hace falta una partícula. Learn how to, learn how to sew. O aprender a coser, ¿verdad? Take watercolor classes. Take up journaling, escribir, ¿verdad? Me, me gusta bastante escribir. Eh, uh, get on a plane, learn how to play the piano, 
try to learn a martial art, wake up to see the sunrise every day for a week, visit, oops, aquí hay una A de más, visit Scotland, visit Scotland and Switzerland, learn how to swim, sell my handmade, handmade items, move outside of San Salvador, buy my own house, have a big garden, make my own wedding dress and have children, right? So these, these are like part of my bucket list, right? So how, how can I go ahead and use present perfect here, teacher? That's kind of uh, weird. Well, it's not, you'll see why. Let's see. Um, become fluent in new language. Well, let's say that I am studying French, right? I'm studying French. I remember, I remember I, I was studying French back in 2006, 2007. I studied two years, but then I stopped practicing French and I forgot it. Se me olvido. Okay, so I, I'm still in the process, right? Okay, so become fluent in a language, become fluent in a language. What do you think would be um, a way to use present perfect Teacher, with any of the expression? Diam. I can speak French. You can speak French? Yes. Really? That's cool. A mí se me olvidó, Dani, pero I'm happy that you can speak French, okay? But actually, I forgot it. But tell me, can you, can you say something to the class in French? Your introduction. Uh, good introduction. Okay. And bonjour à toutes. Uh, je m'appelle Dani. Uh, je suis uh, an assistant veterinaire. Uh, je trouve vingt uh, neuf ans. Uh, je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que je peux dire plus. <laughs> Very good, Danny. That's cool. You know what? Uh, no. uh, uh, avant, uh, je travaille dans le tel de Cameroun avec uh, dans cette langue. Oh, uh, really? Merveilleux. Oui. Je parle avec uh, canadienne et française. Danny, no, no lo puedo hablar, pero escucho que usted lo habla muy bien. No se me ha olvidado tampoco cómo se, cómo se habla, eso sí. So, very good, very good. Congratulations. You know, René, ahí le estaba mandando los claps, ¿ok? Very good, Danny. And now you're, you're going, you know, for the third language. Vamos por la tercera, entonces, Danny. Yes. Very good, excellent. Ah, bueno, Mariana le manda unos claps también, René le mandó claps también, ¿ok? Ya, yeah, Kenia también le mandó unos claps ahí, ¿ok? Good job, Thank you. Danny. Very good. Después ahí se queda ahí con el grupo, ahí contándole a los chicos, ¿verdad? Sus tips para aprender French, ¿ok? Hey, perfecto. Lo que very good, good Danny. Excellent. Uh, también good. fui profesor de francés. <laughs> Danny, of course. You can help your classmates, ¿ok? Ahí le va, ahí, ahí pregúntele a sus compañeros, ¿verdad? But excellent, Danny. Good job. No, actually, in my case, as I told you before, I mean, I started years ago, but, pero no se, me, no se me olvida, right? So, no se me olvida lo que escucho. But actually, in my case, no, I cannot start, you know, like, sharing lots of things about me. I just remember some things. Cool, says congratulations, Danny, is in the chat, very good. So guys, what would, be, what would be a way to say something like that, right? Teacher, have you become fluent in a new language? And I will have to say. Okay. No, I haven't become fluent in French yet. Not yet, probably one day. Teacher, have you learned how to sew? Yes, I have learned how to sew. Okay, esa ya la puedo tachar de mi lista, right? Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Danny. Teacher, have you taken water classes, watercolor classes? No, I haven't, oops, I haven't, oops, 
Oh my goodness. I haven't taken watercolor classes yet. Solo por, por, cuando yo digo yet, ¿qué quiere decir eso? That I'm in process. Estoy en proceso, right? Y que sí las voy a tomar, pero que no los he tomado aún, right? Okay. O, bueno, por ejemplo, teacher, have you taken up journaling? O sea, ¿ha retomado journaling? Y yo le voy a decir, yes. I have already taken up journaling. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que ya lo, ya lo empecé a hacer, lo acabo de retomar, right? Teacher, have you gotten on a plane? No. I haven't, I haven't gotten on a plane. Oops, I haven't gotten on a plane yet, ¿verdad? Todavía no, but maybe one day, right? We never know. Vamos a ver, bajemos, bajemos. Ah, vamos a ver, sell my handmade items. Okay, teacher, have you sold, have you sold your handmade items? And I would say yes. I have already sold some of my handmade items. Okay. Um, teacher, teacher. Oops, se me, se me fue. Vamos a hacer otro cuadrito. Teacher, have you, have you made your own wedding dress? And I have to say yes. I have made my own wedding dress. Yo no sabía mucho de costura, pero yo me hice mi vestido de boda, chicos, okay? So, yes, I have made my own wedding dress, etc. okay? So, think about that example, right? Or, for example, let's see, teacher, um, have you, have you moved outside of San Salvador? No. I, uh, Let's say that I'm about to move. Digamos que ya estaba para moverme, por ejemplo, ayer, ¿verdad? O el fin de semana pasado, yo voy a decir no. I still haven't moved outside of San Salvador. ¿Por qué? Porque como ya lo tenía programado, me tenía que ir, digamos, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ayer o el fin de semana anterior, vengo yo y digo no. I still haven't moved outside of San Salvador, right? Wait. Another question. Uh, teacher, um, have you, have you tried to learn a martial art? You know what I said? Let's invent. Yes. Oops. Yes. I have already, oops, already. Um, I have already tried to learn a martial art, but I didn't like it. Pero no me gustó, ¿verdad? Sí, ya lo, ya lo empecé a hacer, pero I didn't like it. Así que quizá ya no continúe, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Okay? And then it's where you can continue combining, right, the two tenses. Pero no, no, lo, no, lo, no lo combinemos, dejémoslo así, ¿verdad? I have already tried to learn a martial art. O, digamos, que yo ayer cabal comencé mi primera clase. ¿Cómo sería? I, I have just, I have just started, started my martial art, martial art, arts class. Class. I have just started my martial art classes. Oops, perdón. Okay, las acabo de comenzar, right? And then you see, you can combine all of the uses, right? You can combine present perfect with just, present perfect with already, present perfect with still, okay? Present perfect with just, etc. right? So guys, I'm going to stop the class here. Uh, espero que sea de utilidad. ¿Verdad lo que vimos? Y si, si ustedes ven, solo con utilizar esa partícula, eh, ya sea con negativas o preguntas, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden cambiar el significado de esa oración. Así que, thank you very much for your, for your time today. Thank you very much for joining. 
And let's go ahead and meet on Tuesday. Recuerde que es hasta el martes porque el lunes es asueto. Así que vamos la otra semana de martes a viernes, ¿ok? Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Good night, thank guys. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.